So you got yourself an Elementor and WordPress website. Now let's protect it. What's up everyone, I'm Jeffy from Lightbox and in this video, I'm gonna show you three really easy and fast things that you could do for your WordPress website to fully protect it, have a lockdown, and make sure nothing bad happens to it. Now, real quick, scary fact. There are these little evil things called bots. They are crawling your websites all the time and trying to get in to do their evil deeds. And the scary thing is, you might not know this, but your website's probably getting crawled and having attempted hacks on a daily basis, sometimes dozens or even hundreds of times a day. I mean, that's how they work. And if you aren't like really monitoring it and doing deep dives on a regular basis, you might have already been hacked and don't even know it. And usually it's when a client or customer calls and says, hey, I think you've been hacked, which is kind of embarrassing. The thing is, that's how most hacks work. They don't want you to know that you've been hacked. That way they can stay in there and do whatever it is they're trying to do. But there are ways to prevent this from happening to protect your website. And they're actually very easy. I got three things that I use. and I use these on all of our websites, all the websites we built, all the websites we manage. I'm gonna show you what I use and what we use over here at Lightbox for all of our websites. And it's actually very easy. They're all free to use. And it probably is only gonna take a couple minutes tops to set up. So let's go ahead and get started real quick. All right, we're going to add a few plugins here. So start off by going over to your plugins, select on add new. From here, we're going to search for WordFence. And that is the big dog right there. That is the one we want to start off with. In fact, with WordFence, you're good to go pretty much. This is pretty much all you need. Now you got a lot of other security plugins to use. The reason why I go for WordFence is because it's got a powerful firewall. Very few of the other plugins have this firewall. It has a malware, a malware scan. It's really easy to set up. It doesn't plaster your website with all those ads like buy the premium version like some plugins like some free plugins do yoast <laughs> you know uh it's really simple to use and easy to set up so let me go ahead and show you that real quick select click on install select on activate and once it's been activated you're going to get a prompt like this and this is really important to put your main email what i like about this is anytime anything happens fishy with my website I get notified by it. So you always know what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my emails right here and just go ahead and select on this. And we're gonna choose no, I don't wanna get email alerts. And you do have an option for a premium key. I'm gonna be honest, I really feel that the free version is good enough for a majority of websites. I think that's what makes WordFence so amazing. Of course, when you start to get you know build your website up to to like a higher level that's getting a lot more sales and that you know you want to get more of those features in it's good but out the box the free version is incredible and yeah see you can see right here we don't have all kinds of ads this will tell you right here what's going on but that's about it a lot of free plugins like yoast and, and those ones uh, they're terrible because they'll plaster your back end with all kinds of ads, all kinds of notifications that are super annoying. This one right here, you get an option to keep it updated automatically. I do yes on this one. Normally, I don't do automatic updates, but for WordFence, I do keep it up to date. I've never had a problem. So to get started, go back to your dashboard. You can walk through uh, the setup wizard right here to show you a bit about it. Up here on the top, you're gonna see this notification. So this is where we wanna to start to set up. Click on there to configure, and this is gonna be setting up your firewall. That firewall is so important to have. All right, let's go ahead and continue. And that is it right there. And you can see right now to start off, you're in learning mode. So WordFence is learning the website right here. And they could go ahead and click on these to go ahead and optimize the firewall a little bit better. Let's download this file. So they want you to download a backup file. This is all good to go. Just select on continue. 
And that is it. Give it a give it about a day and you're going to see these numbers go up because right now it's setting itself up. It's in learning mode. So with this right here, you're pretty much good to go. Like that is it. Your website is secure. You got the firewall set up. You got your email notifications coming in in case of something's going on. If if you got like bots that are trying to constantly come into your website, they're going to get blocked and WordFence is just going to block them and they're going to notify you. Then they're going to put, put a block on it. And if by some chance somebody does get into your website and they change a file, maybe they insert some uh, virus or malicious code, WordFence is going to notify you on that. It's going to let you know there's been a file change and it's going to let you delete it's going to let you restore the old file so you'll be able to clean up the hack if it was in there it's, it's amazing and it's free this is by far the best to start off with but there's a couple more things we could do to make it even more secure the next thing i'm going to show you is vital as well so go back over to your plugins let's select on new and right here we still got the thing coming up for word friends uh it's doing its machine learning right now so you can just click on dismiss it's good to go so from here type in wps hide login and this is the plugin we're looking for wps hide login go ahead and install that now what this does is all WordPress websites by default in order to log into the back end is your domain so and so.com slash WP admin or slash WP login. And that's how you get back to your back end to log into your website. The thing is, all hackers know that their bots that they create are constantly trying to hack your website by using the WP admin or the slash login. So we need to change that because once you change that, you're going to throw off half the bots out there that are trying to attack your website because these things, they, they, they know, they know that they just need to do the slash WP admin and then they'll keep trying to hit passwords and keep trying to figure out your password. So we're going to completely divert them with this plugin. Also free, super easy to set up. So just select on activate right here. Let's get it going. And you could go here to your settings. So what this does is it actually takes me back to my general settings right down here underneath settings. But down here at the bottom, we have a new option right here. That's the URL login. And this is where we could change it. All you got to do is change this one right here. You could put in whatever you want to give you that access to the back end. And we're just going to say goodbye hackers. All right. And make sure you also copy that down and keep a backup of that. Hit save change. And that's it. So now if I want to log into my website, I would put in so and so dot com slash whatever I put in there, which was goodbye hackers. Put whatever you want in there. That is going to divert at least 50% of the bots trying to get into your website. One more thing to do, go back to your plugins. Select on add new. And let's just go ahead and put in audit. And we're going to get a few options that come up right here. And this is the one that I use WP activity login. Let's go ahead and install that. By the way, too, one thing I look at whenever I use any kind of plugin, uh, just for reference, I look at, of course, how many active installs and I also look at the ratings. But one thing I look at, too, is last updated. This is really important because we want to make sure we only use plugins that are have an active development team behind it, keeping it up to date and secure. Let's go ahead and activate this. Now, what activity log does is it logs every single activity that happens to your website. Anything that happens, it's going to let you know what's happened. All right, so let's go ahead and run the wizard on this one. So start the wizard off and you might want the basic one, not the geeky level. You don't need that one. Less if you want the geek level. I'm a geek, so I, I like geek stuff. All right. Uh, no, we use, okay, this one is asking you if you use uh, the default WP admin, but we just changed that, so we do not use that. No, we 
So we're gonna put yes. We'll use other pages to log into WordPress next. Can visitors register uh, for ours? No. Now, if you're gonna have a WooCommerce website or a membership website, then you would select yes. And how long do you wanna keep your data? Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's keep all data. And that's it, finish. Now, let's say somebody logs into your website. Let's say somebody tries to log into your website. Let's say this person is trying these pages that don't exist. We can start to see that stuff. So go over here to activity log and you're gonna to start to see every single action that happens on your website is here. This is really helpful too, whether you're a developer building a website for a client, you could also like see what's happening on the client side. And if you're a client and you have a website and you wanna see what your developers are doing on your website or your shop managers or anybody that's on your website, you could also go back here and you could take a look and figure out uh, uh, what's happening on your website now there is a, the free version is great the premium version is going to help you out with filters will make the user ability a whole lot better on it but the free version for 99 percent of the time is good enough on this one the thing i like about these three plugins right here all three of them are very well built they work great together they fully secure a website and the free versions are amazing of course the paid versions for wordfence and for wp activity log are going to give you more features but if you're starting off and this is for your own personal business website or you're building a site that's small or medium this is perfect this is going to be your start right here this is what we use on all of our websites hope this video helps you out lock down your website secure it make sure nothing happens real quick bonus two more things i can't really show you because this is something you should contact your hosting about there are two things that you should also have make sure you have an SSL certificate. This is going to give you that extra layer of encryption. If you see the the, the green little lockbox by the URLs because there's an SSL. And if you've ever gone to a website and it says this site is not secure and gives you that big warning, that's probably because there is no SSL on there. So make sure you got an SSL and make sure you have daily backups. Contact your hosting and they should be able to set you up with those. If you have decent hosting, any decent hosting offers those for free. So if your hosting doesn't have it, you should probably look into get another host. I use Cloudways, I like Cloudways. There's a lot of good hosting out there. It is well worth it. Well, I hope this video helps. If it did, you know all that good YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell notification, but for real, uh, subscribing, liking, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, I get back to everyone. So if you have a question or if you would like to see me uh, uh, do something else that will help you, just drop it in the comments. Thank you. I'll be back again soon with more web design related content, elements or tips, tricks and hacks and stuff like that. All right. Thank you. Bye.